Hello Real Estate, my name is George Ryan Sermago, Unit Manager for Philippine Homes. And if this is your first time on this channel, please hit on the subscribe button and click on the bell icon so that you will be notified for any future videos that will be coming up from this channel. Now, today we will be talking about how to be a successful real estate agent. Now, when I say successful real estate agent, I am referring to having a career in the real estate industry. You know, not just some one hit wonder that after you get a sale, you would spend it. And then after that, you would go back to where you started. So today I'll be showing you two tips on how to be a successful real estate agent. The first one is very easy. And the second one would require a lot of change in the mindset and would determine the intent on why you join the real estate industry. Are you ready? Let's begin. If you happen to see a successful real estate agent that have built a career in the industry, you would see them as very calm, uh, very relaxed, you know, they are composed, and sometimes you might even think that they look younger. Now, how is that possible? Now, from how I see it, they are using a system that works. So technically, it's the system that works for them and in fact you don't actually see them a lot um, because they are traveling around the world or spending quality time with their family and friends on a vacation in some resort or in some country now that might not be possible right now because of COVID-19 pandemic but then again you don't see them a lot because they are actually enjoying the fruit of their labor while you are still very busy hustling and getting a sale in this difficult time now here's the good news about that system because the system I'm referring to is not some elaborate and some expensive tool or, or app that you can buy um, in fact it's actually for free and you can do it in two simple steps number one is you have to join a real estate company that has proven to be effective and is known for making successful real estate agents and by successful real estate agents I mean real estate agents that become millionaires and whose lives and their families change for the better. Now, this is something that you need to be very careful about because not all real estate companies do that. In fact, there are some real estate companies that only the brokers get rich while the real estate agents do the selling for them. And the real estate agent might have a lot of sale, but there's not a lot of value to them because you know they are still in debt and that is not the destination that you would want so once you have chosen a good real estate company let's talk about you now there are a lot of reasons why we would want to become a real estate agent one reason could be you know that you have a friend or a family member that just closed a sale and is is enjoying the commission and you would want to have a piece of that too or you are planning to buy a house or a condominium and you would want to get the commission yourself or you would want to to join real estate as a part-time agent because you have the time and the resources to do so now whatever reason you may have it is very important that you should be more than interested you see if you are just interested you will only do real estate when you feel like it and you know sometimes you would do real estate when when you know you're not doing anything else and real estate would be you know just to pass up the time or or when you are comfortable in doing it that mindset will not last you long because if you wanted to be to have a career in real estate I would want you to be committed because a committed real estate agent will do more than that if you're committed you will do everything you can to establish consistency you know how to prioritize and you know how to set the number of hours every day that you have to spend marketing um, the real estate property and you make it a point to respond to inquiries as soon and as fast as possible and you know even if it's difficult and even if you have a difficult client you will still do everything you can to get that sale that's a committed real estate agent now now you may say but i am just a part-time agent and this leads me to the second point which is quality over quantity you know I get asked this a lot because I am also a part-time real estate agent like how do I manage my time and the answer would still go back to quality over quantity you see a part-time real estate agent would not have all the time in the world to market properties and they are actually operating in a limited capacity now let me tell you this it doesn't matter part-time does not mean sometime and I repeat 
part-time does not mean sometime no what you need to do is you know first is you plan your schedule you make the most of that time and you get results it's not about the number of hours that you spend but how you spend those time productively and you know I, I even think that being a part-time real estate has its own advantage because it lets you focus and provides you with a sense of urgency naturally you assess activities that you can do away with and you know like instead of watching TV you spend that time uh, marketing real estate properties now this leads us to point number three which is work hard versus work smart now that we are done discussing doing more with less time let's discuss about brains versus bronze should you work hard or should you work smart now working hard does not mean that you are not working smart or working smart does not mean that you are not working hard but it all leads up to one thing which is your key performance indicator which is efficiency you know hard-working people are usually hands-on to get a sale while smart people are usually hands less to get a sale what I mean by that is automation technology they use mass marketing hard-working people message one client at a time while smart working people message multiple clients at the time and finally this advice might be controversial and and can be unacceptable but please hear me out and I am talking about success and failure do not matter so how is that now you might say what are you talking about everything should be based on success and failure and it's all about putting food on the table and if you don't do that in the real estate industry you can walk away and I, I completely understand that but hear me out what I'm trying to say is you cannot get too high or too low when you make a sale or when you don't close a sale what I'm trying to say is you don't spend like a millionaire or you don't spend like a one-day millionaire when you close a sale and you cannot be too depressed when your client will tell you that they need time to decide it's not going to be every day that you will close a sale in fact you will fail more than you will succeed in closing a sale and if you base your outlook on the results you will never be successful long term rather focus on the process focus on your methods focus on your skill focus on how to be more efficient and focus on how to add value to your clients now going back to what I said earlier that successful real estate agents look calm they look composed they look relaxed and they look a bit younger but don't think of them as better than you think of them as your inspiration and I'm 100% sure that they started just like everybody else did in fact they actually failed and I would guarantee that they failed more times than you do it's just that they never give up they remain persistent and they trusted the system and they don't forget to smile too and you know just like the analogy of the iceberg you just see what is visible and that's only a small chunk of the ice and that's the success that you see what you don't see are the larger chunk of the ice that is made up of frustrations rejections self-doubts and failures in the end real estate is not a sprint it's a marathon you will get tired you will get distracted you will get frustrated you will be overtaken and you will feel alone what is important is you stay the course stay focused and never give up you do it for yourself and you do it for your loved ones peace